Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated border overlaps to highlight content with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. So we're just going to call this create animated border overlaps. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So for this example, we are going to choose from a pre-made layout. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option. So the layout that we need here is the app developers layout pack. So I'm just going to search for it here. All right. So these are the layouts. I'm going to click here on app developers landing page, and then I'm going to use this layout. All right. So now that our layout has been um, installed, the next thing we're going to do is to duplicate this section. So I'm going to click here on this button to duplicate the section. So now we have two identical sections. So we're going to start by adding a brand new row in this speciality section. So I'm going to click on this plus button and we are going to go with a single column here. Now in this column, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So we're going to get rid of all this text here. Now we need to move this around. So to do that, we're going to use negative margins. So I'm going to come over here on design spacing and we're going to start with the top margin of minus 480. So I know right now we can't see anything because we've removed the text from this module. So the top padding needs to be 223, both at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here, add 223. And uh, for this to be applied to the bottom as well, I'm just going to click on this chain icon. So now this has been applied to both sides, top and bottom. Now let's add a border to this. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on border. And here what we need to do is to add a border that goes all around. And the border needs to be nine pixels. So first of all, I'm going to come over here and adjust my border width. And as you can see, as I'm adding my width here, it is now showing where my border is. So I want to set this to nine pixels. And then uh, we're also going to add a border color. So I'm just going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same color as I'm using here, you can link to the post, which I'll add in the uh, video description below. All right. So the next thing I want to do now is to add my border style. So by default, it's set to solid, but uh, we want this to be set to outset. So I'm going to click on this drop down here and select outset. And this gives us now this style that we have here. Now we're going to add a bit of box shadow. So I'm going to come over here. And uh, the style we're going to choose is this very first one here. And the blur strength, we're going to set this to one pixel. And for the shadow spread strength, we're going to set that to 15 pixels. And then finally, we are going to add our shadow color. And this color is going to be transparent. So I'm going to come over here and click on this eyedropper tool and add my color between these brackets, just like that. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below, which has all these specific settings. All right, so now that we've added all that, um, we're going to move on to the next step, and this is where we're going to be adding the animation. So uh, we don't want this to just be static, so let's add some animation. So I'm going to click here on the animation uh, option. So the style we're going to go with is flip. So I'm going to come over here, choose flip, and as you can see there, it's just uh, animated once. Now, animation direction. So I'm just going to scroll down here so I get to see all the options. So the animation direction needs to be set to right. So I'm just going to change it here from center to right. For the animation duration, we're going to set this to 1,500 instead of uh, 1,000 here. And then uh, we're also going to add an animation delay. And uh, here the delay is set to zero, but we're going to set it to 1,500 as well. And then the uh, intensity, we are going to set this to 500%. So pretty much our design is done. I'm going to save this. And then I'm just going to publish this. Right, so uh, let's exit the Visual Builder here so we can take a look at the animation. There we go. So you can see here, in fact, let me refresh this one more time. And there we go. So you can see our animation coming in. It's spinning around. So now it's time to recreate example two. So I'm going to go back and, and enable the visual builder. So I'm going to go to the other section that we duplicated. So as we did before, we're just going to click this plus button and add a single row. So we're going to search for our text module. 
click on select and then we're also going to get rid of all this text in here now as we did before we're going to go to we're going to go and add our margins and our padding so i'm going to click here on design spacing and we're going to start with a margin of 480 pixels for the top so what this 480 does is it moves our module up and then over here on the padding we're going to set this to 223 both to the top and the bottom next we're going to come over here to the border and uh, we're going to set our border here at nine pixels so i'm just going to drag the slider here okay so there we go we've got nine pixels there now let's go to the border style and in fact, before we add the border style, let's add the color. So again, I'm going to paste my color in here. That, and then for the border style, at this time, we're going to go with double. So I'm going to click here on this drop down and choose double. There we go. Next, we're going to come over here to animation and uh, we're going to choose roll. And the repeat needs to be left at one. And the direction is also fine at center. And then our animation duration. Now, this time, we're going to bump this up to 4,500. The animation delay needs to be set to 1,500. And then the animation intensity, we're going to bump this up again all the way to 100%. And we're going to do the same with the uh, anima animation starting opacity. Drag this all the way to 100%. So now that this looks really nice, I'm going to go ahead and save it. But we're not done yet because we still need to do a bit of work here. So what I'm going to do now is to clone this uh, module. So I'm going to come over here and clone it. So now we have another one here just on top of it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to change the uh, spacing. So... I'm going to go into my module settings here, click on design, spacing. So here we have 480. We're going to change this to 495. Next, we're going to modify the border. So I'm going to come over here to border. And uh, for the border color, I'm just going to click here on this dropper tool and then paste my color in here. And now let's go to the animation. So I'm going to click here on the animation tab. So here uh, we have this set to once but we want this to loop. So I'm gonna choose loop, and then animation duration, we're gonna set it to 5,000, and for the animation delay, we're gonna set this to 2,000. So pretty much this is our design. I'm gonna go ahead now and save, and um, you know what? We'll just preview these all in the end. Now let's move on and let's recreate, or let's work on the third one. So this is the section that we need to be working on. So our work here is going to start on this large image. So I'm going to click on this gear icon to go into my image settings. And then I'm going to go in and add some margins. So I'm going to start with a top margin. So I'm going to click here on design spacing. So for the top margin, we're going to set this to 70. And for the desktop and smartphone, we're going to set this to zero. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, click on tablet, set this to zero. And I'm going to do the same for the phone. Great. All right, so now that we've set, it, uh, we've set our margins, we need to go in and add some background colors to our text modules. So I'm going to save this. So these are the modules that we need to add backgrounds to. So I'm going to click here on this little gear icon, click on background, and we're going to set this to white. So this needs to be done to all these text modules. So one of the quickest ways we could do this is just by right-clicking here and copying the background. We're going to save this, and then we're going to come over here and paste background. We're going to do the same over here as well. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a text module to this very first column. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button, search for my text module and select it. And as we did before, we're going to get rid of all this text in here. Now let's head over to the spacing because we need to add a lot of margins and padding. So I'm going to click here on design spacing. So for the top margin, we're going to set this to minus 230. And for the left, we're going to set this to 80. And the right margin needs to be set to 100. Now for the top and bottom padding, we're going to set this to 120. And I'm going to click here on this chain icon to apply it both to the top and the bottom. Next, we're going to go to the border. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on border. And our border width here is going to be 13 pixels. We're going to add our border color. And again, if you want to use the exact same colors that I'm using throughout this design, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so the next thing we're going to do here is to select our border style, and this is going to be set to double. Now it's time to add our rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here to the top, making sure the chain icon is uh, activated, because um, with the chain icon being activated, it means that um, all the sides will have the rounded corners applied. Now back over here on the spacing, I just need to make one more adjustment. I 
uh, instead of 80 pixels, it means it needs to be minus 80 pixels. Okay, so this is the shape that we're looking for. Now it's time to go to the animation. So I'm going to click here on the animation option. And the uh, style we're going to choose here is fold. We're going to leave it at, at repeat once. And the animation direction, we're going to set this to right. And the intensity to 100%. Now let's go to advanced tab, visibility. We're going to set our Z index to 1. I mean to minus 1. So what we've just done here with the Z index is to push this shape behind this text module. So all you have to do now is to copy this and uh, add it here below this text module. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. Now, when it comes to uh, copying and moving these, I prefer doing this in the um, wireframe mode. So I'm gonna come back over here to the wireframe mode. So this is the text module that we've just worked on. So I'm just gonna duplicate it and drag it all the way down here to the bottom. And now let's view this. So there we go. So what you could also do here is to replicate what we've done and add it over here to the right uh, on this third column. And then we have a complete design which has animation on it. So what I'm gonna do now is just to save this and then test and see if this is working okay. So I'm gonna save and then exit the visual builder. All right, so let's go to our first one. You can see here our animation just happened there. Now let's move on to the next one. And we can see that uh, this is also animating. Okay, now we're going to come all the way here and you can see these animating in. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.